17 and Chris, I'm willing to bet you ate some extra calories yesterday. You said a pound or 10 pounds? A pound, but it seems like it should be 10 as much well, as I yeah, ate yesterday. Like, I feel like my, my face is bigger. I mean, I know I got a big head. <laughs> you Don't <go>. say it. <laughs> Chris like got my... a head like a catfish. <laughs> I know, was, you know, you said that two years ago on Christmas Day? Uh, you know what? That was from, written in that by a, a viewer. That was a That was a viewer comment. Day. I have a head like a catfish. What can I, what, what can I say? Mm -hmm. And I feel like I've gained 10 pounds. Well, is it a good day to walk it off? It's a good day to, a day to maybe try and walk it off. Temperatures are not going to be too bad. It's just going to be kind of dreary overall. We do have the low clouds still sitting over us with mostly cloudy skies throughout the day today. 63 degrees. I'm just going to rub my stomach a little bit more. 59 degree dew point, so humidity is at 87%. Temperature has actually come up in the last hour, so we probably bottomed out so far today. Temperatures really didn't come down a great deal. Yesterday's high was only 69. 50s and 60s outside at the moment, and we do have some patchy fog. Uh, eight mile visibility is not bad, but we have dropped at Kenner, so maybe some of that low fog or low cloudiness, I should say, kind of settling down to the surface. A pretty dense fog across Be uh, Bogalusa to Slidell. Lakefront, Bell Chase, and at Galliano right now. Nothing on radar in terms of rainfall and only anticipating maybe a 10 to 20% chance for an isolated shower during the day. And really any rain that we do see would be no more than a trace of rain, maybe a little bit more than that. 70 is likely going to be our afternoon high today. That warm, muggy air is really spread across the central part of the nation. I mean, even for this time of year, 53 degrees in Chicago, when more often than not, they've already had some decent amounts of snow in late December. This is very warm, humid air with the coldest of the air much farther out to our west over the Rockies and especially up into Canada. The reason for that is we've got this persistent southwesterly flow in the mid and upper parts of the atmosphere, which has kind of opened up not only the Gulf of Mexico, but even the Pacific Ocean, where a lot of that moisture you see streaming across Texas and the plains and Midwest, that moisture is actually originating from the Pacific. And none of the cold air is really able to get through that strong southwesterly pattern. But we do have a change coming for this weekend as we'll finally see a big upper trough sweep on through with a cold front. Really no in terms of moisture, no rainfall with this pattern, but we are likely to see maybe a few isolated showers. We did have a trace of rain at Kenner yesterday, had a little bit of drizzle at my house during the day yesterday, but that was about it. 20% during the day today and tonight for tomorrow. I did increase it to only about 30% as the models inc uh, indicating maybe a few few more isolated showers and then about a 40% chance on Saturday as an approaching cold front will likely start to really surge that Gulf moisture back up over the area. So Saturday does look to be a warmer, more humid day. And then we turn colder as we get into the latter part of the day on Sunday. 70 degrees are high with mostly cloudy skies. Again, an isolated shower chance. Mostly cloudy tonight with lows in the 60s. Patchy fog will once again be an issue. Likely patchy fog for Saturday morning. 40% chance for rain on Saturday, 60, maybe 70%. That rain chance is going to be mainly along a cold front. So this is not an all day rain event. And then once that front moves on through, check out Monday 59 for a high Tuesday 57. And it looks like we will finally enjoy clear skies and chilly temperatures as we ring in the new year.